All right, everybody. I'd like to invite you to lunch. Yeah. What's up? We're headed out to pay bills. Fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we're sitting up here at the credit union. Uh, this is one of the places we have money um, in our savings account, of course. From here, we we'll probably go, we'll go to the bank and get money out there, then go pay bills. So I'm probably going to get all the bill paying done. Then we're going to go out to eat and maybe get some road on here. I don't know. Uh, there's not a whole bunch I could do really outside the car because the wind is still blowing like crazy. We're having Texas wind. <laughs> Plus, it's supposed to rain sometime today. Uh, I brought my sunglasses, but I don't need them. It's cloudy. So we'll get something. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. All right, guys. We paid bills today. Been a little bit of everywhere so far, and today we ate at a new place. Um, it's right up the road from where we live. And let's see. What do you think? Let's get Angie's view on it. Oh, eating. Feel yep. it? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't funny. Uh, you guys didn't get to see that probably. Food is good. The wind blew her food almost yeah, in her lap. All right, she says the food's good. The food is good. All right. What about price? Price is about average of other places we've eaten. Okay. Um, location of the place. Location's kind of bad. Kind of. But it's still able to get out of. Okay. But it is bad location. But also a good location. Me, I think the food, now, well, it's a lot like the other, it's a lot like Jack's. Hmm. I don't know. It's home cooking. Oh, yeah. Uh, location sucks. It's right there on the busy uh, US 50. And um, price, I think it's a little on the high side. Exactly the same as what we made at Jack's. But the reason we're eating here instead of inside because they're crowded. You know how it's it is? It's nice out, except for the damn wind. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm going to show you guys something. I shouldn't really do this because there's houses up there. Damn wind. I'll show you guys something. Right there, it's my house. That is our house. That's how close we are to the park. So, not the big yellow one, the little yellow one. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll probably get some more here in a little bit. All right, guys, since it's very windy, I'm going to back on out of here real quick. You hear, yeah, that's police sirens you hear probably. Since it's very windy, it's not a whole bunch I can videotape outside. He's going down US 50. <laughs> so I figure I'd kind of give you an idea how far, how close we are to our house from the park. Yeah, as you can see, I pulled right up in there. Yeah, this park's been here for a long time. I've actually come over to this park when I was a kid. My wife basically grew up here. I've only been here from 1983. That's here in, you know, my town. Now, a lot has changed since, you know, we were kids here. <coughs> Lots have changed. But, yep, here we're getting ready to go out of the park. I'm going to make a left-hand turn here on Park Avenue, which is the street I lived on many years ago when we moved here. Now, if you go straight on down the road here, here, I'll show you. I'm going to show you guys something else. Before we go home, okay? This is what I want to show you guys. 
Now, yeah, I live in the town, right, guys? Now, I only live right up the road there. Right up the road there, right up Richmond. I only live right up there. Here, I'm going to show you how close we are to the country. I'll give you an example how close, you know. I mean, we're right at the edge. Boom. Since we pass these few houses right here, we're in the country. Farmlands, cows, horses, <coughs> you name it. All country. I used to ride my motorcycle up and down this road quite a bit. I had one of the motorcycles that uh, took about a good 15 minutes to warm it up before uh, it actually start running right. This is an old motorcycle. I'm going to go ahead and turn around down here. Head on back. Tell you what, we'll pick it up here in a minute on the way back. Right Look there, my friends. He's a is that a end. buck? Yeah, that's a buck. Zoom into it. A... Yep, that's a buck. He's lost half of his antler. He sure did, didn't he? He's looking, he's like, what are they doing? Humans, go on down and get you a drink. Yeah, they're running crazy and scared now. See right there's the creek, so yeah. we might get another. Where to go in it? It's up here by the sign. Yeah. We get ready to make a left on Richmond. And I'll show you. We're not far. Cause right there's the park. Let's see if you get it on there. Or when we well when we turn the corner, right there's the park. That's the pavilion. And right here's where we are. We'll just go right up this hill. By the way, my backyard basically begins here. That's how far my backyard is. All the way up. My wife ain't doing so well filming, is she? <laughs> and this well, is my road. Right there. And since we can't park on the road no more, we kind of got our own little parking spot with a stump in it, a tree stump, but here's where we be. We got the reflectors there for nighttime and know where we're going. That's so we don't run over the water meter. And depending on if it's muddy or not, uh, if I back up or not. And Angie and I always have a contest. See who can get closer to these reflectors without hitting them. Oh, I hit it. <laughs> They're plastic, so they ain't gonna hurt nothing. So I would probably conclude my video, maybe. I'm gonna not upload this till later in case something else happens. Maybe I get something cool on here and tomorrow we're gonna do it again and hopefully it won't be so windy. Look at this. You just tell that wind just a gushing through there. That's my pit area, by the way, everybody. I'm hoping one day to get that all filled in with dirt. Then maybe make a driveway back in through there. All right. We'll probably get more after a while. All right, guys. It's uh, later in the evening time. I would have got more on video, but I got busy. Well, I definitely, if it's uh, raining tomorrow, I'm still going to take the camera with me. I'll get some more on here then, and hopefully be better stuff. <laughs> I'm going to close it out now. You guys have a good evening, and we'll catch you tomorrow.